not getting done this way in the parking ages. Uh, well then, uh, yes, over the cross flats, again, last been, same place I've been the last few weeks. However, I didn't actually run it this week, I've, uh, yeah, to the car. So, um, I'm not as out of puff, well, from running, I am out of puff as I've not been overly well during the week. And I've had a bit of a cough the last couple of days. Just, just a bit of a chill cough and, uh, yeah. So, we'll see how that impacts the running. However, something bigger than that I've got today. I uh, gave that a far bigger build up than it um, deserved actually. Basically, I've got myself some new trainers. And that's them. I've already ran in them once on Thursday. Yeah, I gave them a shot on Thursday just to test them, make sure they actually fitted in that before I well, decided if I was keeping them. They did, they're fine. Yeah, so I'm going to try them out today. I've actually gone a wee bit different this time with my trainers. The last few pairs I've had have all been ASICs. ASICs, ASICs, I never know how to say that one. And, uh, yeah, last few pair of all been them, that brand. And actually, the last couple of pairs of trainers just haven't been comfortable. So, I decided I'll try something different. And the last trail shoes I bought a good while ago were from Decathlon, and they were Decathlon's own brand. And they were really, really comfortable. So I thought, well, the trail shoes are comfy. I'll maybe try Decathlon's own brand running trainers, see what they're like. And that's what I've done. So these are Kalen Kalenji. Kalenji GF 100.1, I think it says. They are the very bottom of the range ones. They cost me £24.99. Um, they come in a couple of different colours. Although, only the black and grey were in the shop when I, when I bought them. I really want the red ones because they look really cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're the bottom of the range ones. But it says they can do, they're good for running up to 20 kilometres. That's ideal distance for me. They are comfortable in my feet, they seem alright, they're not pinching me or anything like that. I'll maybe see how it goes today with the actual proper run. You know, go a bit more try and go a wee bit faster. But you know what? I, I think I've I think I've done alright with these. For me the most important thing with a pair of running shoes is just that they're comfortable, basically. You know I mean I could spend a couple hundred pounds on a pair of trainers, but it's not gonna make me any faster. So this is me going the very opposite end and you know trying to the cheap ones, but I think they'll be absolutely fine. You know what? I think they'll be absolutely fine. And I feel my old ones are getting a bit warm as well. I was finding my knees were getting quite sore after a run, so hopefully now these are new, a bit of cushioning in them. Shouldn't get as much pain there either, which will help. Not very busy so far this morning, but mate, usually it's busy at a certain point. Yeah, usually it's busy like five minutes before the start. It's absolutely freezing this morning. I wish I'd remembered to bring my gloves. The wind chill is so, so cold. Oh, I'll, I'll heat up once I get going. It's just, yeah, this initial bit. Yeah, it's quite cold. Oh, it was, it was alright a few weeks ago as well. As I said at the start, I've been a bit, yeah, a bit chesty this last couple of days, so I'm not going to go for my 25 minute goal today. I'm just going to set a nice just distance and time target on my phone and run around just see how I got on. Also I've got this um, last one to lay race tomorrow so I want to make sure I'm actually fit for that. So one week of not going for my target, I don't think it's going to do me any harm. I'll just resume doing that next week or the week after again, you know. Yeah we'll see how I got on. I'll maybe put 27 minutes in. That seems beatable, I think. But in reality, we'll be about 26, 26 and a half, something like that. And uh, yeah, we'll see how the trainers go. But so far, comfy. for 3k. So far so good. Trainers are comfy. I'm comfy. This is alright. There's the finish line over there. I'll see that in just under two kilometers.
There we are. I've crossed the line, I finally got my breath back a wee bit. Uh, yeah, that actually went surprisingly better than I expected. Time was about 26 minutes, so I was right not going for the 25 minute time, but I surprised myself at the, the pace there. Uh, it's not just out of the new trainers. I think, I think yeah, a wee bit better than I thought. I did go out on Thursday, so I think that has helped a little. You know, I was, to be fair, I even more breathless on Thursday night. Uh, where I was going out running all day, like four kilometres. But it's, it's helped, and this is what I said last week. I I find that going going to run Thursday massively helps on the Saturday. So, uh, yeah, it's, that's been the case here. The shoes are all still in one piece. They're all right. And, uh, yeah, really, really comfy. I, I'm really, really pleased with how they wear through the run there. Now, I realised one thing straight away at the start. I took a wee picture in front of the sign. Uh, I was like, ah, these are going to pick up the mud like nothing else. I need to watch that actually walk, walking on any grass. I still have my old trainers, so if I think a run's going to be particularly dirty, I'm going to switch to them just for the moment, just because I like keeping my new shoes clean for as long as I can. But the actual shoes themselves, the actual, they're actually quite comfy. I feel I've got a wee bit of cushioning, which is quite good. I'm going to be honest, I'm really impressed for a pair of £25 shoes. They're they're as good as my old ones so far. I'll maybe assess that properly in a month or so. You know, once I've done some proper kind of running on them, maybe a couple of longer runs as well, and really see see how they are there. But yeah, definitely first impressions. I mean, we run Thursday, 5k today, a park run. Yeah, happy with that. I think I've, I think I've done well with them. So yeah, I'll just keep a wee eye on them, see how they go. But yeah, so far so good. Really happy. Yeah, so tomorrow is the last Winter League race of the season. This one's at Crossgates. Now, I think I've said before in the last couple of videos that this is first time Crossgates host race. I don't think that's true. I think they said they've hosted one at four. But it was a completely different course. So, yeah, it's a completely new experience tomorrow. Never run this one. And uh, I've been told the course is relatively flat. About as much elevation as we get at cross flats. It's just a lot of kind of running across fields, so... I think it could be quite good fun. It could be a good, quick, fast finish to the winter league season. I'm just basically just trying to get as many points as I can. I should be able to get pick up about 50, 60 points in my overall score because I'll drop my low scoring race. And because that happened early on the season, there was more runners there. Last well, end of the race, there's just a few people, so it's a good chance to make up big points just by virtue of the fact there's less there. So yeah. Hopefully a strong finish tomorrow, good ending, and uh, yeah, we'll see how I got in there. I'm looking forward to it actually, it'll be nice, just hopefully the weather keeps.